This is a DOM element. You won't find it in Webflow's ad panel, but it's the most powerful element we have. It can be set to anything we'd like. From a video to an actual button, we can change the tag on this element. We can add other content inside it like texture or images, and we can style it just like we would any other element. We can use this even if we don't have Webflow apps installed, and the element can be copied between projects. Inside each section, we should only have a single H2 element, but we can't drag images inside our H2, so we're left with multiple headings. What we can do instead is use a DOM element with some plain text and images inside. We can change the tag type to be H2, and we've unlocked the ability to have multiple elements inside our H2. We can also link this tag type to a field on our component. We'll call this heading tag. So now if we have multiple of these components on the same page, we can change our first one to use an H1 instead. We might also want to adjust the styling between components. So we could add a class to this maybe called font size H1 and maybe another class for font color orange. If we want to link these classes to a component field, we would have to do that through attributes. If we try to apply a class attribute to any normal element, it would say this is a reserved name. We can't use class. But we can use class with the DOM element. So let's remove the classes from it and let's give it an attribute name of class and then we can use all the same classes like font size h1 and if we would like a combo class we add a space we'll say font color orange. So now that we have those classes applied we can link that to a field on our component and we'll call this something like heading class. So now that we create we can change the class between components. Maybe for only the second one, we remove the font color orange and we add font size H2 instead. Check the links in the description below for a full list of HTML elements you can use and a clonable to copy your very first DOM element.